Hey teammates, Colonel Pat Miller here, Commander of the 88th Air Base Wing and Installation Commander for Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. Many of you are tracking that last night, Thursday, the 9th of September, we responded to an act, a reported active shooter scenario in our NASIC facility. I just want to bring you up to speed on where we're at, what happened last night, and kind of close the door on the event and talk about how we're going to move forward. Uh, last night, shortly after 9 o'clock, uh, two individuals reported to the security forces watch desk inside the NASIC facility uh, that they had heard a shot fired inside the facility. That in turn drove the security forces member to call our base defense operations center and let them know about a potential active shooter situation. Many of you have seen through your ad hoc messages, telephone calls, or email uh, that the base immediately went into a lockdown. Uh, you heard across the giant voice, lockdown, lockdown, lockdown. These are all the things that we have practiced. This is why we urge you to make sure you're updating your information in the ad hoc uh, application with a cell phone number if you want text message, with your current email address or a current phone number, so that we can get a hold of you in times like this. That played out perfectly. Our security forces immediately responded to the area, fire responded as well and set up incident command, and we began immediately sweeping the NASIC complex to see if we could identify a potential shooter. The team did an awesome job working down the hallways, the public spaces, uh, the folks inside the building did exactly what they were supposed to do. They barricaded themselves in, turned the lights off, closed the windows, did all the things that we train. There's a reason we practice active shooter exercises and it's for occasions like this because your protection is our number one concern. And so folks did the right thing. They blocked themselves in, they held, the, held down the fort and waited for our security forces teammates to sweep through the facility and get to the all clear message and get folks out of that facility into a safe zone. Fortunately, after both the primary sweep and the secondary sweep, uh, nothing was found. And some folks may look at that and say, wow, that was a lot to do about nothing. I will tell you it was not nothing to the folks that were involved in that event to the two individuals that thought they heard a shot fired and did the right thing and reported it to security forces, to our first responders that immediately reported to the scene uh, to begin uh, protecting and defending those folks that are in that, in that facility and around our community, to our community partners that answered the call to action, that reached out to our security forces, that showed up at the Hope Hotel parking lot as a pre-staging area to figure out how can they support us in this time of need to the FBI, Office of Special Investigations, all those folks, thank you. To our local municipalities, uh, law enforcement agencies, thank you for being there for us. You know we will be there for you. For the folks that went through this uh, ordeal inside NASIC, thanks for doing the right thing. Thanks for remembering what you're supposed to do in an active shooter scenario. You rocked it. And to our responders that did the sweep, that secured the area, to our public affairs team that made sure we were communicating with the local media to get the message out to the community, and to all of you in the community uh, that were concerned, expressed your concern, but again, did the right thing by staying away so that we could secure the area and protect our teammates. Thank you. We're still working through the investigation piece because obviously that was not a gunshot that those individuals heard. We're trying to sort through what that may have been. Um, but again, through both the primary and secondary sweep, we identified the fact that there was no shots fired, the area was secure, there was no perpetrator, and we moved on to the all clear. Now that we're in that all clear phase, folks are kind of calming down, going back, looking at the scenario through a fresh set of eyes, taking lessons learned because there are lessons learned from every event that we do. We will incorporate those in the future exercises and we will continue to practice active shooter scenarios because you never know when that sound that you think you heard is the exact sound that you thought you heard. So if you hear something, say something, be active, get involved, do the right thing, understand your training and know that we appreciate you, we care about you, we are here for you. And again, special thanks to all those folks that were involved in the incident last night in making sure as you're in the heat of the moment, you're protecting the team, saving the mission and getting after it. I truly appreciate all that you're doing for the fight.